Hey guys, I am back with another declutter video. And this video, I don't know if I'm gonna have to split it up into two parts or not, but I'm gonna do my powders today. I had to clear the drawer and only have my loose powders in here. And then I will bring out the pressed powders later because there were just too many to fit in this drawer. So these are all of my loose powders. I know it is atrocious. It's crazy. It's... I don't know it's a little asinine here I didn't realize I had so many loose powders but apparently I do and I feel like I'm still missing one but I don't know we'll work through that later but right now I want to try to declutter and pack these away for the big move so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe to my channel and also give this video a like thumbs up if you enjoy my declutter videos and also click the little bell to make sure you're a part of the hashtag notification gang and if you do that comment down below in my description box okay okay no, not okay. You don't want to comment in my description box because you can't. You want to comment in my comment section, okay? Let's get into it. All right, so here is my crazy, crazy collection. Let's be clear. I don't know if I'm getting rid of any of these because I kind of love all of these powders. So um, I think I'm going to keep most of them, but let's go through them and I'll just show you guys what I have. Patrick's powder. How do you get rid of Patrick's powder okay you can't so that's definitely a keeper that is staying in my collection you know what I can get rid of though this Besame what is this brightening violet translucent powder this gave me the worst flashback I didn't really like it at all so I can let that one go I think that might be the only one I'm giving away y'all let's see <laughs> Beauty Bakery, we're gonna keep. I actually have two of the Beauty Bakery powders and I have them in banana and then I also have them in regular translucent. So I'm gonna keep both of those. I love those powders. I'm also gonna keep the Urban Decay Velvetizer. I've done a video on this, talked to you guys about this before. I really like it, so I'm keeping that. Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. Um, yeah, that's a keeper. Here's also another good one that I just got. It's the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. Very good setting powder. Um, it's drugstore as well. So I'm keeping that. Keeping my Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is one of my favorite setting powders. Along with the Too Faced Ethereal Born This Way Powder. Really love it. This is already going really badly, you guys because I'm keeping this Urban Decay powder. This is the, what is this, the Naked Loose Powder. Keeping that, keeping my RCMA No Color Powder. This is an NYC jar, but I just switched the packaging because the packaging on that powder sucks. I'm also keeping this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. I don't use this very often, but I actually do like the finish it gives, so I'm gonna keep that. And I'm going to keep my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder as well. All right, let's keep this going. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders. I'm going to go ahead and let go of the light medium, but I am going to keep the medium deep because this is actually my skin tone, so I'm going to keep this one. Some more keepers in here. This is the MAC uh, Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. I don't use this very often, but I think I'm going to add this to my makeup routine because I did like it when I was using it. I'm also going to keep these two, the LA Girl Setting Powder and then the NYX Set It Don't Fret It. You guys know that's one of my all-time favorite mattifying powders there. All right, so let's keep this Lancome Translucent Silky Loose Powder. One of my favorites gives you such an airbrushed look. I'm also going to keep this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. But I'm going to get rid of this Laura Geller. This is the Skin Diffuser Baked Loose Powder in Medium. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I think I've only used this like once or twice, so I'm going to let that go. I have this empty jar here that I can put other powders in when I travel, so we're going to keep that empty jar. And then I have the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Deep. And this I'm keeping. All right, so as I look through the rest of these, I think I'm going to keep them all. Um, I have these, you know what, no, this one, this is the Sephora Universal Translucent Setting Powder. I can get rid of this one. And then I'm going to keep this Sephora Bright Set Loose Powder right here. This is just in like a banana shade, so I'm going to keep that. And the rest of these are keepers. I have the Wowder by Glossier, which I actually really love. The Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I don't love this on me, but when I do other people's makeup, I use this and it looks so good on them, so I'm keeping that. 
This is my trusty Ben Nye banana powder looking real ratchet in another, another jar. Cinema Secrets. This is one of my favorite loose powders right now. This is a brand new one. This is the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. I'm keeping this. And then the last two are my Laura Mercier Translucent. Y'all know, y'all can't even pry that out of my hands. And then I have the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And that I am also keeping. All right, so just for record keeping purposes, I started off with 32 powders and I am getting rid of four. This is the saddest declutter that I've ever done, but I did just declutter my makeup probably about six months ago. So if you guys haven't seen that, check those videos out. I'll link the playlist, but I'm getting rid of four powders. Something's better than nothing. And yeah, so we're left with 28 loose powders. So here's another batch. I can't promise how this one is gonna go either. These are all of my pressed setting powders, my um, powder foundations, everything that I put on top of a liquid foundation. I can also wear a lot of these on their own. So we're gonna go through these and see how many I'm gonna give away. Again, I can't make any promises. I don't think it's gonna be that many, but let's give it a try. With the pressed setting powders, just for record keeping purposes, I have 31 pressed powders. So let's see what we can go ahead and get rid of. Let's pull out some of the keepers first. Too Faced Peach, what is this? Peach Blur Powder. This is a really nice powder, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm also going to keep this Black Radiance Powder. I have not opened this yet, so I wanna really try this out. I love it as a bronzer in the darker shade, so I wanna try this out in my own skin tone. I have two Makeup Forever Pressed Ultra HD powders in here. I have the peach and also the banana. Both of those are keepers. I love these. They're so finely milled. Might as well keep it going. Let's keep this Ulta Pressed Setting Powder, this Black Up Matte Definition Powder. Let's keep this Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. I really love this Photo Focus Powder. And I'm also going to keep this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder. Here's something that I can let go of. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Not really a big fan of this one, so I'm gonna let that one go. I'm also gonna let go of this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Pressed Powder. I love this powder foundation, but I haven't used it yet, and I just have too many in my collection, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder, I don't really use very often, but when I do other people's makeup, I do use it because it looks really great on people without very oily skin so I'm going to keep that just for purposes of that I'm also going to keep this MAC Studio Fix Powder here I have it in the shade NC45 which is my shade and then I'm going to keep this Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder it's the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Foundation I don't know wait is it powder or is it cream it's called a powder Oh, it's a cream to powder foundation is what it looks like, but I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of it. Here's the Black Opal True Color Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. We're going to keep that along with the CoverGirl All Day Outlast Powder. And I'm also keeping my Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder. I am going to let go of this Lorac Powder here. This is the Porefection Bake Perfecting Powder. I'm going to let that one go. I'm also going to let go of this Bare Minerals, what is this, the Translucent Powder Duo, and it had the two sides on it. I just really don't use this. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. The last powder that I'm going to get rid of is this CoverGirl Queen Collection. This is the pressed powder, so I'm going to get rid of that. But I think the rest of these I am going to go ahead and keep. So that's the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the LA Girl, what is this? Just the regular pressed powder. I'm going to keep the LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. The MAC, um, what is this? The Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. I have a brand new Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of this Rimmel Stay Matte right here. It's brand new. I'm not going to get through it. Let's just get rid of it. Same with this Catrice All Matte Plus Powder. I don't need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. But I am keeping this Hourglass Radiant Light Ambient Powder. 
So I actually did better this time. Out of the 31 powders that I had, I ended up getting rid of eight of them. So not too bad, 31 minus eight is 23 that I have left that I will be keeping in my collection. So we got rid of the Black Opal Pore Perfecting Powder Foundation, the Rimmel Stay Matte, I got the Catrice All Matte Plus Powder, Bare Minerals Powder Duo, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, the Lorac Porefection, CoverGirl Queen, and then the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying my declutter series so far. If you are, make sure you comment down below and let me know. And also give this video a big thumbs up. Again, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media for more moving and decluttering updates. I've been doing a lot on my Snapchat as well as my Insta stories. So make sure you're following me in those places. The links are always in the description box. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys!